shows in association with Super Value, who are asking GEA fans all across the country to support where you're from. Lots of great competitions as well over the coming weeks. Just check out the Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Super Value Ireland. We've got some brilliant guests coming your way over the coming weeks and months around the championship. And two more right now. I'm delighted to be joined by Galway's Damien Comer and Donegal's Ryan McHugh. How are you keeping, lads? Very good, Nathan. Hey, and I also have my beautiful assistant, if I'm allowed to call him that. Kieran Donahue is with us as always as well. How are you keeping, Kieran? Good, Nathan. Good, no. Strange times, lads. Very strange times. Preparing for a championship as we head into the winter. And Ryan, I guess for you particularly, because we know there's been some COVID scares in Donegal, in and around the senior football squad over the past few weeks. How have you found it all? Yeah, I suppose very different, Nathan. To be honest with you. Um, Unfortunately, they're supposed to come back nearly uh, it's two, three weeks ago, three weeks now, actually, since uh, there was two, two, three of the squad actually could test it positive. So we all actually had to isolate for, for 14 days in. So all action was, was stopped within the county. So, uh, yeah, definitely different times. So it is, um, I think it's just a matter of trying to adapt to these times, you know, and, and to, to focus and, and get the mentality around it that these things are going to happen and it's how you react to them when they do happen. You were due to play with Kilcar in the county final as well, and that ends up getting postponed and may happen at some stage over the winter. We don't know just yet. When it does come so close to home, did it put any doubts in your mind about whether you wanted to be out on the football pitch? Uh, no, from my side of view, you know, I'm, I'm extremely fortunate. Thankfully, I have nobody at home or close to me that, that, are, that are, have underlying conditions or are very sick, you know, so I'm, I'm very, very fortunate that way, you know, but... Uh, to be fair, the county final, you know, around Kilcar, it, it wasn't because of actually players got COVID that the county final was cancelled that time. It was more to do with the Donegal senior team having 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 COVID, you know. And now, obviously, it's because the the GA have shut the have shut the club championship or the clubs all around the country that that, that the championship can't be played, you know. So very disappointing for the club players. To be honest with you, you know, the, the county players within the two teams are fortunate that they can go back and, and refocus on county setups. But from a club player point of view, extremely disappointing for them. To, the fact that they put in so much to the year to not get to play the final now is extremely disappointing. But hopefully we can in the future get it played. You've Ryan, got is, is is there a, is there some is there a kind of a case of you know the way you said you did a lot of breakouts within the squad? Is it something you're actually kind of not putting pressure on each other, but focusing more on to be extra cautious, just yourself, you yourself, because we know what's going to happen coming down the line here. There's going to be championship games and big games coming on. We're kind of getting news now that for Mena and Clare, that Clare are going to get the points in that game. I can see a, a situation where a team gets COVID and, and they get knocked out of the championship because of it. But is there is the talk, okay, lads, let's be extra careful, stay at home, do extra bits to mind yourself, wear your mask everywhere you go rather than just when you have to. Yeah, no, you're, you're 100 percent right, Kieran. To be honest with you, and, and in a strange way, I think we got the wake up call we needed right in time. You know, we 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 missed no matches. Yeah, we missed maybe two weeks of training, which which isn't ideal, but we missed no matches over it. So I think we actually got our wake up call at the right time. You know, um, listen, you don't want anyone to, to to pick up COVID or anything like that. So 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 you don't. But uh, we we definitely have talked about it the last couple of nights. You know, we just have to be that wee bit extra ca careful, as you say, wear your masks everywhere you go. Just keep your distance with everything, you know, simple things, traveling in your own, if you're going to work, going to training, whatever it is, traveling in your own in your car, just so you don't put you or, or your team at jeopardy of, of missing out on a, on a league match or a championship match, you know, because the way the way we're sort of looking at it is if, if, if somebody gets COVID, it's just the same as getting a red card, you know, you, you, you miss the match or you miss whatever it is and you could cost your team. Damien, from your point of view, the virus is sweeping around the country again, so there's inevitability that it's going to find its way into GAA inter-county squads. How have you found been back in camp over the last few weeks? Is it a, a very different experience from from any other year? Yeah, I suppose it's 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 quite different in the in the sense that it's we we're just saying there it's nearly it's nearly like your preseason, except for without the dog and running, and you're leading into big championship games and big league games. Like so, it's it's a, it's a very different feel. Like you've got the you've got the dark nights and and under floodlights again in Lough George out training. Um, so it's it's kind of like you're. You're preparing for FBD, except for there's a lot more, an awful lot more at stake now. But yeah, it's just, I suppose it's 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 just rampant, and you just gotta you just gotta be smart and gotta be careful with what you do in in different scenarios. Like even like you can you can protect yourself as much as possible, but it's the people you hang out with as well. Because if you like you seen it there with Adrian Verley, he missed the club game in in Galway. Or, like if you're if you're considered a close contact, and I suppose um, 
me being a teacher as well, and like like Adrian was, it's, it, you can get caught up in it very easily if you have a close contact in, or if you have a, a case in your class and you're a close contact, you're out for 14 days. So it it, it 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 could come it could come hot and heavy in the next few weeks as as cases are picking up on it. It's just it's it, it's going to be a matter of fortune whether you're considered a close contact or not, or trying to protect yourself and and isolate yourself as much as possible so you, you can give yourself less chance of being deemed a, a, a close contact. I suppose. We were talking with Peter Keane previously about the change in timing of the championship and how Peter Crowley is one of the players who maybe benefits because he'd had a long-term injury and would have been really struggling for a summer championship. Last year, you were with us up in Ackle. Somehow they let you out alive out of Ackle for one of our Super Value Roadshows and you were talking about your injury problems and maybe a misdiagnosis and how it ended up dragging on far longer than it would. You're back, but are you far fitter and more ready now than you may have even been if the championship had gone ahead as planned in May? Oh yeah, definitely Nathan. Like even even them league games that we played in February, I suppose Pork was mad to get me in to get to get some game time under my belt. So the only the last surgery that I had was only in November. So I was out I got pins out of my ankle that time and it was eight weeks after that. So even playing down Kerry that time up in Donegal I only came on in the Monaghan game. I wasn't fit, had no no kicking practice. Every time, even even during the league, them league games, every time I was kicking with my right foot, it was stinging my ankle. So it was actually the COVID break kind of helped in a sense because when we could get back up to twos and threes and fours, um, we went up to the local pitch there and and um, taking numerous shots and I nearly like nearly like kicked the pain out of my ankle, got the numbness and the soreness out of it. And it just it, I suppose that got a bit of mobility, got a bit of flexibility back in it and yeah definitely definitely gave me that that break that I probably would have needed yeah I mean where where are you with that in terms of like I came back I got the whole pins in pins out scenario in, in my foot no not my ankle it's probably worse than the ankle but what level of comfort are you in in your mind when you're taken to the pitch no and in a few weeks time when the championship kicks off in them few league games are you are you is it completely behind you are you going to be like a bull in a china shop just can't wait to get out there and let the frustration of the last year and a half, because I'm sure it was frustrating. It happened in freakish circumstances. These things happen all the time, but it's just a bit different when you're playing. Where are you mentally on the injury and how starved are you for football at, at the top level? Yeah, the, um, no, it's completely behind me now. I've full confidence. I'm nearly confident to go even without strapping, but just for the fear sure. of ever hurting it again, I just strap it just just out of uh, curiosity more than anything. But yeah, no, full, full range of motion. My speed, like when I, before, I got the pins out. I couldn't get my speed up above eight, and like right. since I've since I've gotten them out, I'm getting up to nine, nine point two, nine point three, nine point four. So it's actually it's it, it's it's worked well, and I have full confidence in a full range of mo mo movement in it. But I just I I wouldn't go without strapping just for the fear that I'd have I'd set myself back again. So just it's it's nearly just peace of mind for that. But yeah, like we, our club championship, we didn't we didn't go we 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 the two finalists in the group from with Montpellier and Michael in our group. Okay, um, lost by a point and two points. Like only kicking a ball, but didn't really get didn't really get get going as much as we would have liked in in, in that club championship. So I suppose even just a few niggles along the way, which has, has kind of interrupted interrupted the club season and just just mad to get back playing. Now it doesn't it, matter whether it's, whether it's winter or, or summer. It's still it's still going to be exciting. In a way, those few niggles, you know, not that the club guys will appreciate me saying it, and not that you'd probably feel like this, but. The fact that you got those little few niggles that you always get when you come back from a long layoff, you know, you do get the little tweaks and the little strains here and there. It's kind of good that you got them out of the way now that you can go in here and 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 really start to express yourself. Because to be honest, I think, I think the conditions that we're going to be playing this football, we're going to be playing them on, on the best pitches possible, but it's going to be wet, it's going to be windy, and you're like the ideal mould of a player if you wanted to. Uh, to fit somebody out for that kind of conditions, you, you're you're going to be on solid enough footing because the stadium pitches will still be good. Uh, but you've got this wet, greasy ball. You're dangerous in the air. You're strong when you get it close to goal. Are you are you, are you looking forward to the challenge of of that kind of scenario? Because we're normally used to playing championship. You get the odd championship game like that, but like when you know it's going to be predominantly pissing rain, wet, windy. Are you looking forward to the battle of it? You, you like you're you are a fella that likes to roll up your sleeves. Yeah, we were, we were actually only on about it there the last day myself and Conrad. It's like it's actually it's it's winter football will probably suit bigger lads more than more than smaller lads. But I like even as funny forwards normally if it's a wet pissing day outside, um forwards wouldn't don't really like it. But I actually don't mind playing in the rain. And it, the bit of physicality is um is enjoyable at times when when it's pouring down. But yeah, no, it's 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 gonna it's gonna come down to 
it's going to come down to that. It's going to be massive battles, and it's going to be like you, you're you're not going to have the the probably the skill level won't be as good as it was during during the height of the summer when the sun is shining. But we've often played in in the middle of July, and it's been absolutely pissing down in Salt Hill like <laughs> winter day. So I don't think that, I don't yeah. think the weather is going to influence that that much. But it's yeah, it's going it's going it's going to come down to that, and it'll it'll be exciting. I think look, I think everyone's everyone's raring to go from from players managers and, and supporters even even if they're not if they're not watching it from the stadiums but watching it at home like you've seen you've seen with the streaming that was available from the different from the different um counties over the club championship it was really good to watch and the quality of games was, was was up as well so it was a really enjoyable year on the, on the sporting pitch in fairness all i heard from all of that damien was that the strapping is still on and if a mayo lad was to get you at the right time in a couple of weeks time in the league it could have a right an impact <laughs> I'll be sending that down to everybody back home now. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit too much insight there. It is, it is going to be a championship like no other, and back to a knockout format. There ain't going to be a second chance. And Ryan, from your point of view, like you can probably obsess a little bit too much about Tyrone, but you've got to go up against them in the league quite soon, and then first round of the championship as well. Is is Tyrone in your mind every day of the week at the moment? Yeah, they are definitely. Um, we played Tyrone twice in, in, in three weeks, you know. So we played them in the league, and then we go down to Kerry, and then we played them week after in the championship. Championship. So uh, three massive matches, you know. But I suppose two massive, massive matches against against Tyrone. So it is. Um, listen, from a, from a player's point of view, uh, on, from Damien's side, I'm probably the complete opposite. What a footballer should be during winter football. That's that's the only problem on it. But from our point of view, really looking forward to it. You know, it, it's what you want as a player is is loads and loads of games. You know and and I think over the last couple of years with the Super 8s, we, we've experienced games week in, week out, and, and it's unbelievable, you know. So we're really looking forward to it, get, getting going, getting getting back into playing football, you know. Um, for a while during the summer, it looked like we might get no football. So, the, it's, so I think the GA deserve huge credit to, to, to have run off a, a very good club championship and now looking like they're going to run off a, a, an inter-county championship, you know. So it's it's great, you know. We're, we're, we're really looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be massive, you know. We've... I think the problem with, with us now we have to peak for every single match because we need to we need to be safe in the league first and foremost, and then peak for for the championship two weeks later. So it's it, it's going to be massive, but it's something we're really looking forward to. You know, as I said, you can train all you want, but it's it, it's it's games you want to be playing, and we're getting the chance to play week in week out now. The straight knockout format, then, do you think? And the common consensus seems to be it gives teams an opportunity against Dublin that may not have been there as they're going for a six in a row that all right Dublin may lose once in the super eights but it gives them a chance to bounce back whereas this time if you get them beaten they're beaten are you looking at it like that Ryan this is a very different championship there's an opportunity presenting itself this year that may not have been there otherwise listen to be honest with you we're definitely not looking at Dublin and I'm sure not at the minute but we're just sort of taking it it's an old cliche but taking it game by game you know but I am looking forward to you know change can be good sometimes so I am looking forward to seeing how it how it works, you know, a lot of people going back to the Super 8s, a lot of people weren't for that at the time, and I think it's actually worked well, so it has. So I'm not saying that, that we should keep this this format, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it works. You know, my father always at home told me that football was a lot better in his day, so <laughs> he says always to go back to it. But I'm, look, I'm does, looking Does he not know that it's it. all been on uh, TG Carr over the, la over the lockdown, and we all <laughs> realise that that is most definitely not true? No, I, would agree, I would agree with that. But listen, so I'm looking forward to it, you know, um, We've got a huge match first round, you know, either Donegal or Tyrone's going to be out first round of championship, which is disappointing for either side. But it, it, it's, I think it's a real buzz around both counties that it's just do or die football. And, and you know, you, you have to be at your best on, on, on that day. Or if you're not, you're going to be out. So I'm looking forward to it. As I said, I'm, I'm always open for change and stuff. So I'm looking forward to this year's championship. If I, and it's rare it happens, take off my green and red tinted glasses, Damien. I think people are really intrigued and excited about what Galway may go and do this season under Porrick Joyce. He's such a legend uh, around Galway. What's it been like getting to work with him over the last few months? And as a forward, particularly, the little nuggets of information, have you managed to take a lot out of those little meetings and sessions you would have had with him personally? Uh, yeah, I suppose anyone, anyone that knows Porrick knows that he's a, he's a really confident man and he, he nearly instills that confidence in, in his players. Like him coming in as a marquee forward, he's been there done it all and he's been such a legend of, of going football having uh, different tips and different advice and just his experience I suppose is, is massive telling and he's getting the best out of the lads like you see Shane you know was playing football of his life like he's really spurred on um, different lads and getting getting a few of the other the other lads the Curfin lads back now and 
it's just it's it's, it's just been I suppose he's he's so much so much invested in it and just his experience his his directness like he with Boric you know you know where you stand with him he'll tell you he'll tell you what you're doing wrong or what you're doing right in fairness and he he'll criticise you and he'll and he'll compliment you and there's just there's no there's no beating around the bush for him it's it's he's a straight shooter and it's great so you know where you stand. If you're performing, you play, and if you're not, you won't play. And anyone who's in form doesn't matter if you haven't played a, a minute of league game. If you're playing, like his lads now coming in really hot off club championship, they'll probably be starting against against Mayo because they're literally his his motto is if you're if you're playing well, you're going to you're going to be playing for us, and that's that's basically it. he wants 15 lads who are in the best form uh, talking on each day. Yeah, Kieran, it's going to be really interesting to see what goal I do come up with because obviously the solid base is there under Kevin Walsh over the last few years, but it is that X factor that Porrick Joyce brings in an attacking sense. And as Damien's running through some of the names there, like if Shane Walsh is getting to another level, I think everybody should be a little bit worried. Yeah, look, I think, look, you obviously have the two finalists from last year, Kerry and Dublin, but then your Donegal and your Galways are, are, are kind of right there next in line because both of them have kind of a lot of athletic players. They have a lot of good footballers. Um, they have guys that can really hurt you, as in big marquee names that that rarely let their counties down and kind of always deliver. So you know they're not they're going to be met with that. But obviously, look, they're going to have roadblocks, and and and, and as they both know, and and what they'll be facing into is this kind of knockout game, uh, where you know anything will happen. You know, a red card is huge now because a red card used to mean if they'd miss a game and if they lost, they could get back in and they might get back for the next game. But like it's going to be a case of a red card now, you cost yourself your season, you could cost your teammates your season. You know, there's just so much riding on every decision that's been made. Um, I'm glad that they've got, they've, they've got these, I'm glad they kept the league games in for that reason, Nate, and I think it's important that the guys get to the pitch of it um, and get a feel for what it's going to be like before before the championship starts, because I think those two league games for a lot of teams are going to be, you know, you look at the Donegal lads, they're, they're playing Tyrone, it's going to be a tricky one to handle, but you know, they are where they are in the league and they need a result. And then they've coming down to Kerry and you're going back up a week later. But you you look back at Tyrone in 08 and these teams that came through the back door and got a run of games, they often played eight or nine games to win in All-Ireland. You know, Donegal will have to play five and the two league games, seven, you know what I mean? In, in, in a kind of a, in, in a shorter span, okay. But the guys are in such good shape. You look at those two fellas there, like if they were in any premiership club anywhere, they'd be, they'd be right up there with fitness levels and speed and power and all that. So, the boys are able to do that, and I think that's what's opened everybody's eyes to the split season. And uh, you know, I think I think it's why it's got such a kind of resounding yes from everybody that's actually involved with the team, uh, more so than the guys that sit up at the table and press the buttons at Congress. I think it's the guys that are that are on the front line. It, 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 that's why it's so positive to think that we're going to go down this road where it's going to be club split season, and fellas can concentrate and fellas can plan their lives around it. Mm. Ryan, just before we finish up, you touched on your style of play and comparing maybe to Damien and summer and winter football. Do you think because of the heavier conditions out there, and listen, who knows what the weather is exactly going to be like, that we will see almost a different tactical setup from teams because of the change in season for the championship? Uh, I don't know Will you see that much of a difference. You know, I think the way we normally do it, and I mean, in Donegal, that is normally going into, into a league, you, you set out what way you want to play and, and you just try to progress that throughout the year, get continuously better and better at it, you know, no matter if it's if it's pouring rain or the sun shining, you know, you still try to play different ways. Obviously, if it's if the pitch is going to be heavier and, and if it could be raining and stuff like that, you just need to be, I think you need to just be a lot sharper on the ball. The ball has to go to chase more, you know, simple things like that. You just have to keep moving it and moving it through the hands a lot better where if it's, if it's a better day, you might get away with that wee, wee bit of a worse pass, if you want to say. So, I don't know, will it, change how teams set up and different sort of things like that. I'm not sure I'm not sure about that. Um can only say from our point of view, you know, normally when we go into league or into campaigns I should say is we start with McKenna Cup and we, we say what way we want to play and we normally stick throughout that way throughout the year and just try continuously get better playing that than rather than alternating our, our game plan, you know, depending on the weather. I fear I spoke too early, Damien, and maybe you were trying to bluff us and now there's a double bluff. Was it the right ankle or the left ankle? You've been doing the old trick of putting the strap, strapping on the other one. Strap bottom. 
yeah. Lads, it's been brilliant to talk to you. Enjoy the next few weeks, and I'm sure you're going to give us all lots and lots of entertainment. Damien Comer, Ryan McHugh, and Kieran Donaghy, as always, thanks for joining us. It is the latest in our GAA roadshows here in OTB Sports. It's all with thanks to Super Value. We're asking GAA fans across the country to support where you're from. You can check out facebook.com forward slash Super Value Ireland for lots more information and some competitions there as well.